hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i'm a cruelty free youtuber that is trying to have a year long no buy and today as you may see if this is not your first video i have a cut uh, bangs and i'm starting to get used to this now like the first okay maybe i can talk about this one while i'm doing my makeup if you even want to hear i don't know but today it's the fourth part or some part in my main yeah it must be the fourth i'm looking at the palettes in my spring palettes thing that i'm doing and i'm going to use the Jose by Juve today and i actually think that i know what i'm going to do i have done quite a few looks with this i have done a free looks one palette and Maybe palette bingo as well. I, I I honestly don't remember. But this is my least favorite palette from Use Place, and I've tried to use it a lot uh, just to see like what I really feel about it. And yeah, I am going to use this today. And I think I know what I want to do. I haven't swatched the colors, so maybe it will look crazy, but on my face the palette looks like this at least so yeah i think we're just going to uh, prime my eyes and get started are we going to prime my eyes really so i want to do a half cut crease a green half cut crease um and i think i want to use this one this one and the green one and maybe this tart one in my inner corners but i'm not really sure but i think i'm going to try to do that i don't know though if this is going to be a little bit too uh, pinkish but i guess we just on this channel we just try things and um, see how it goes so if you want to hear about my hair story i i did i do have had i have had bangs for a really long time um uh, but it was before or maybe i should take Maybe I should take this one, but this is so damn light. Can I swatch you? I think this is not maybe going to go good with... Yeah, maybe. In my book, it would work. Um, I have had bangs for a really, really long time. And then when I was maybe... Uh, I don't know, maybe 23 or something. I did uh, see all my bangs and uh, did shave a side cut instead. But I have had bangs like since I. Yeah, I had it when I was a kid and then I had it during my teenage years and then until I was 23, if I'm not mistaken. And I have been so sick and tired of my hair, so I was like, maybe I should cut bangs again. But now I, I don't know, I'm starting to get used to it, as I said. And uh, I, it's just strange to get like a, a hair story with a makeup look. Yeah, but you know, what channel you are on, so. So yeah, I just did it and I'm starting to get used to it and today I did wash my hair at home. I am one of these like I, I don't like when the hairdresser is um, washing the hair and then when they use their products and their way to like style it. I want to style it my own way. So I did wash it today and I have some hairs that is not, yeah, yeah, the bangs is, it doesn't want to be where it should completely. And my hairdresser said because I haven't had bangs for like over 10 years, my hair doesn't want to lay like this. So she said it will take a couple of days and a couple of washes before it lies down attitude but it's much better now than it was yesterday and before i washed my hair today so i guess it's only going to get better and 
I think I just have to get used to this and I just want to see how I look at the viewfinder all the time but I'm trying not to. So yeah, this is my new haircut and I don't know if this is a midlife crisis or what it is or... Yeah. I'm just happy to do something else with my hair. Maybe I just can um, say it like that. Okay, so I... I think I might want to go in with chocolate, this one, in my crease as well. Just a little, 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 little bit. So I'm going to take maybe this flimsy brush from Nabla. And I am so happy that you seem to like my spring Syria thing. But it feels like I need to hurry up with this because it's soon summer. Today it's the... 6th of May, 7th of May and uh, yeah I'm in a little bit of uh, I haven't filmed that much uh, today it's Saturday and I'm going to work tomorrow so I don't think I will be able to film tomorrow either so I'm trying to film today and I'm going to try to do another video after this Okay, maybe this was a little bit too dark, but I'm just happy if not all the spring looks is going to be fun and bright, even though maybe the most of us see spring as something bright and fun, but for me, I use whatever, whenever, so... Yeah, and I just wanted to do something that I haven't done with this palette, and I don't think I've done one of these looks. And, okay. And this is the first time that I'm putting on makeup with my bangs. And honestly, when I had bangs before, I didn't use makeup that much. Like, I had mascara. Some powder, and... Uh, eyeliner no eyebrows so this was like something strange to have in bangs and eyebrows but I guess I'm getting used to this okay I'm going in with the chocolate again the dark one and have it on kind of half of my eyelid this is so dark isn't it Maybe not like super dark. And I don't know, I kept this palette while I did my makeup or my eyeshadow palette collection and the clutter. And I don't know why because I, as I said, this is my least favorite palette from UV's Place and I don't really get it. But I'm. It's something about it that I can't like let it go. And I think it's very different from US Place other palettes. Maybe that is also why I wanted to keep it. I'm going to see if I will really like this look. If I maybe feel better about my choice to keep it. So far. looks good and I do really hope that this look turns out good because I'm planning on filming a video after this and it, it feels like it has been a long time since I did two videos in a row like filming wise but I want to catch up with YouTube again and I'm really going to try now I've been a little bit better actually Okay, but it's now maybe this puffs is really really nice, but I actually think that I want to take the green one. But I will actually cut my crease. I what I can remember, this green isn't that like super smooth and metallic as some of um, UVS Place 
shimmers are and I do really want this to show so I'm going to use my glitter primer from NYX to do a half cut crease and now I do need a mirror a little bit closer so something like that and just tap in the edge I do like to have mirrors in palettes This one from Yuvia's Place does not I don't think they have mirrors in any of their palettes Okay, I think this will look really good I do <laughs> like this. I think this combo was pretty cool actually. I just want to go in with the dark brown. Just taking a little bit on the brush, tap it off and then go over here. Okay, do you know what? I think this looks really good. Maybe I have done this combo before or have I? Do I have to look this up or are we just going to pretend like this has never happened before? I don't know. Okay, do I start to like the Dusay more? Maybe I am. So, okay, <laughs> I'm going to cut this crease as well. And uh, fix my face and I might go in with this tart one in my inner corner I will have to wait and see how I feel when I've done everything else so yeah I'm pleasantly surprised I didn't thought it was going to look this good I do really like it so I will fix that and then I come back so do I love this look <laughs> yes I do. On my face I did use Ombra from Nabla, a cream blush from Fenty in Strawberry Drip. It's a little bit dirty. And I used my Nabla Ozone highlighter. On my lower lash line I did use Peach Fuzz from Colourpop. And on my lips I used this one from Lethal. This is anemia and this color it's freaking amazing i i don't know <laughs> i haven't been using it for a long time and for my lower lash i did go in with crepes chocolate and also tart in my inner corner and i just love how this turned out i think it looks amazing if i'm going to be honest and the green it goes really good together with this one and also the one in my crease and I do really like the tart one I hope that you can see something in my inner corners and the lipstick goes great and this was the first lipstick I tried to this look I'm impressed with myself but I feel like I want okay this is maybe strange for being me but I feel I want a little bit of a gloss on top of this going to take um, pestle peach maybe that's not a good choice I have this one from um, the body shop that is apple taffy I am not like for gloss lips yet but I'm not for this super matte lips either so I think this is a good middle ground so yeah I'm so so happy with this look and maybe it has been the right choice to actually keep this palette. Is this look going to be the one that changed my feelings for the Dusay palette? Apparently. But yeah, I do really hope that you like this video. The only two palettes... I have three palettes left in my spring thingy. And it is <laughs> these three. So it's the Memento from Lethal. Creepy Cute from Shroud and Pestle Pop from Menagerie. And I think that I'm maybe going to do a look combining these two. 
um, or combining all these three or yeah I I think I'm not sure <laughs> I will see but yeah I do really like this look this has been my favorite look in a long time can't stop staring at myself and not itching in my nose I probably have a cat hair. So yeah, I do really love that you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!